15 anime shows to watch out for if you liked Berserk. Berserk depicts the dark journey of a solemn swordsman, Guts, who is armed with an absurdly large sword and an array of other smaller weapons. It follows him through many battles, all equally bloody and horrifying. For those who are saddened by the fact that the anime ended too quickly and are pinning for more, fear not, as we have carefully compiled a list of other animes with a similar gist, if not in the plot lines, protagonists, and carefully thought out characters, but in the lack of hesitation and the splatter of blood, gore, and depravity. That is just what would cater to a Berserk fan. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Ninja Scroll. The anime follows a lone but highly skilled mercenary, Jubei, in a Edo period Japan. He stumbles into a clan of devils holding the sole survivor, a woman, Keijiro, hostage. The noble mercenary decides to save the young woman from the throes of evil, and in the process, he makes enemies with a whole bunch of demons. The mercenary and the woman part ways to later be brought together to investigate the mysterious death of an entire village. Ninja Scroll is best known for its animation and action, which is every bit as gory and violent and, in that sense, synonymous with Berserk. Both contain epic battles with tons of blood play and loads of severed body parts. Both the animes have a badass male character with swords, while in one it is normal sized, but in both cases, they are expert swordsmen. Berserk and Ninja Scroll are both classic animes of this genre. The animes would be appealing to the kind of anime viewer who likes violently skilled, unusually bold characters who fight more for fun than for obligation. Claymore. The base premise on which Claymore runs is female medieval knights battling monsters on the quest to avenge their mentors. This anime is set in a world where its occupants are in constant fear of demons, the Yoma, understandably as the Yoma devour humans and then can shapeshift into the humans they have devoured, as well as have access to their memories. And who has the power and skill to stop these demons? The Claymore, a hybrid mix of demon and human, who are as equally dangerous and are the only ones capable of destroying the demons. The anime follows Claire, a Claymore, and her journey to fulfill certain goals and her battles in eliminating the Yoma. Claire seems to lack even the slightest emotions until her path crosses with the young boy, Reiki. Together their journey begins. We gradually see a shift in Claire's stiff demeanor and see her character beginning to embrace the human part in her. Of course, these moments of sentiment do not last long, and the two are under threat of danger from both the Claymores and Yoma alike. Claymore demands attention to detail, as there are plenty of finely scattered themes throughout the anime. The anime would definitely cater to Berserk viewers, as it has a similar context of warriors fighting battles with absurdly large swords. The animes also see both protagonists follow a quest for vengeance. Berserk and Claymore are a violent mix of gore and master swordplay, with broody, dark protagonists and wonderfully tailored action. Definitely not for the faint of heart. Helsing, Ultimate, Blood, Violence, Vampires, and Religious Organization are a few of the prominent features in this anime. Helsing, Ultimate, follows an ancient vampire, Alucard, who works for an organization called Helsing. For hundreds of years, this organization has been successful in eliminating all supernatural that is a threat to the world, successfully so with the help of Alucard, who is their greatest asset, who so far has remained undefeated and eliminated every supernatural threat thrown his way. Here, another character, Sarah Paris who had gotten injured during an attack in a desperate attempt to get another shot at life, makes the decision that binds him to Alucard and thus ultimately works for Helsing. As the anime progresses, the gore and violence mount, along with more nefarious supernatural activities, all leading back to the organization called Millennium. Classic Victorian horror and dark fantasy are the core elements of this anime, along with its allure of colorful characters. What Berserk and Helsing ultimately both have in common are the incredibly skilled and powerful main protagonists, who have undergone horrifying instances as children and where they gradually ascend into a position where they now are violently dangerous to themselves but also under the control of a powerful organization. The two animes have a grim undertone of absolute seriousness with a lot of gory violence sprinkled all over it. The violence, gore, and profanity are sure to make this series an excellent recommendation for fans of Berserk.
Afro Samurai. Only two laws in this futuristic Japan number one governs the world, and only number two can oppose them. These ranks are proudly displayed on headbands. The anime follows the story of a swordsman called Afro, hell-bent on avenging his father, who was decapitated in front of him when he was just a little boy by an evil gunman who did so to change his rank. Afro is a number two rank himself, and is now a skilled swordsman who will take down anyone in his path of vengeance without hesitation. Afro knows no emotion but violence in him. Although the setting and plot may vary, the incredible fights and a badass protagonist with an air of untouchability and an absurd amount of violence and blood is what both Berserk and Afro Samurai have in common. I should have taught me to... <laughs> Fists of the North Star. The powerful oppress the weak in a world where existence depends solely on strength. The plot takes place in a post-apocalyptic wasteland with few resources. In this world, even close friends can betray you for power. Ken, the Fist of the North Star, learns his lesson when his closest friend almost kills him and leaves him for dead. Ken is difficult to get rid of, and when he does return, he is furious the Hokuto Shinken prodigy journeys through the desert to save his love interest Yuria when she is kidnapped. A number of villains who prey on the vulnerable are encountered along the way, resulting in some stunning yet gruesome action sequences. Attacking the enemy's pressure points, or subos, is a key component of the martial style known as Hokuto Shinken. This method frequently causes the enemy's head to blow up shortly after the blow is delivered. Together with Bat, a juvenile robber, and Lin, Kinshiro gains allies on his trek across the jungle. The dark dystopian series, Fists of the North Star, has impacted Western culture and manga since it debuted in the 80s, including well no titles like Berserk. XTV. XTV is a supernatural anime series based on the premise of mystery and heavy drama. It follows our main protagonist, Kamui Shiro's story, who is faced with the decision to become a dragon of heaven or dragon of earth. Choosing one would have the earth under his protection, while selecting the other would lead to its demise. A lot of fighting happens not because of any solid reason, but because it is their destiny to do so. We see Kamui transition from immature and mean, although he does have reasons for being so. We see this character grow out of his shell of meanness and into a more kind and mature one. With numerous well-developed characters, the plot delves deeply into character relationships and moral conundrums. The connections and backstories explain why each character selected their side, making the choices more clear-cut and more morally nuanced. Berserk and XTV takes place in gloomy fantasy settings with a touch of religious undertones, and both the shows have a lot of action uniformly spread throughout the length of the anime, wholly wrapped in darkness, with little to no comic release. Berserk and XTV TV contains sophisticated characters with intricate justifications for their choices, which is where the similarities between the two animes end. To stuff them and keep them close at hand. Wouldn't you agree? Blade of the Immortal, Immortal. Samurais, murderous immortals, and a little girl who gets caught up in it all are all part of this legendary tale of revenge. Manji, a notorious swordsman in feudal Japan, earned the nickname Hundred Man Killer due to the 100 innocent men he murdered. Even more alarming than his sinister reputation, though, is the fact that he is immortal. This was inflicted upon him by the centuries-old nun Yao Bakuni, who placed bloodworms in Manji's body that could treat practically any wound. Manji decides to kill 1,000 evil persons in order to atone for his crimes. Yao Bakuni accepts his request and promises to lift his curse of immortality if he is successful. Immediately after making this pledge, Manji runs into 16-year-old Rin Asano, who asks for Manji's help in killing the people who killed her parents. Manji initially hesitates before turning down Rin's pleading request. Nevertheless, Manji changes his mind later on and offers to look out for Rin for the next four years because she reminds him of his little sister. With this alliance, firmly established, the two start off on a treacherous trip filled with bloodshed, retribution, and redemption to achieve their goals. Berserk and Blade of the Immortal Immortal takes place in the medieval era, with heroic swordsmen attempting to break a curse. The shows do not shy away from the large amounts of violence and gore, and how they erode the hero's humanity. Thanks to the gloomy atmosphere and a rich array of characters, you'll be captivated throughout.
Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust. 10,000 years into a post-apocalyptic future, the world is overrun by demons and vampires. Though vampires are the majority that govern the night, their numbers are dwindling. The extinction of vampires is now a threat thanks to vampire hunters. The anime follows D, the protagonist of this anime, who is a vampire hunter and is also a half-vampire with the infamous Dracula, rumored to be his father. When a young woman is abducted from her home by a powerful vampire, her wealthy family pays D and other bounty hunters to pursue her and bring her back, preferably alive but dead if she has been changed into a vampire. Subsequently, there is a fierce race among the hunters to see who can bring the woman back first and claim the relatively large reward. D and the other hunters are at odds with one another, and both parties come very close to death. As the story progresses, we uncover many truths, and we realize that doomed love is another theme in this anime. On the surface, the story appears straightforward. Yet there are intricate levels of character development woven throughout the narrative. The characters are both brilliantly created and unique, as well as beautifully portrayed. Because this anime explores themes of gore and gothic elements, the bloodlust anime will please lovers of Berserk. Devilman Crybaby. Demons require a living host to manifest. However, if a person has a strong enough will, they can defeat the demon and claim its power for himself, becoming a Devilman. Akiro Fudo, the main character, learns through his best friend, Ryo, that an ancient race of demons has returned to retake the planet from humans. Ryo advises Akira to join forces with the demon in order to beat the demons, explaining that doing so is the only way to use their superhuman abilities. We see that Akira is capable of changing into a Devilman, a character with both demonic forces as well as a human soul. Devilman and Akiro Fudo engage in combat. Despite the fact that it gives him enormous power, this new merging awakens an implacable and primal side to our protagonist. Akira, who has a devil's body but a human heart, works with Ryo to kill those who hurt people and his loved ones. Violence, sex, and action are the core features that Berserk and Devilman Crybaby have in common. The latter is infamously known for its sexually violent scenes. Although this anime may be pleasing in the violent and action-packed aspect of it, there is also a fair amount of humor to balance this out. Gans. Gore, sex, and philosophy are just a few things that Gans offers in abundance. The anime follows the protagonist, K, a typical moody teen who feels like he has already figured out how the world works. K and his best friend, Kato, when in the midst of helping a drunk homeless man who had fallen down railway tracks, are hit by a subway train. The anime does not end here. Instead, the two teens wake up in a room full of strangers and a large metal sphere called Gans. How odd. The recently deceased contestants are now asked to play an odd violent game. What is the price of the game? A shot at winning another chance at life. The anime has a great concept, and the characters with their complex personalities, showcasing both weaknesses and strengths, are explored in great detail much more when compared to Berserk, in fact. Although Berserk has a more medieval context, Gans's is in a more futuristic one. Berserk and Gans have an absurd amount of graphic violence in common, with mortifying sexual content with an undertone of darkness and hope for a better future. Gans has plenty of violence, profanity, and sex to live up to its adult rating, but its most vital asset is how successful it is in sending all of its characters insane. Monster. In Monster, the 74-episode-long anime follows Kenzo Tenma, our protagonist, a young genius neurosurgeon who moved to Germany from his native place, Japan. The young, kind doctor is admired by all around him, colleagues and patients. One fine day, two patients who are in need of an emergency surgery are wheeled into the hospital. The doctor is asked to switch the patients. Compromising on his ethics, he does so, which he later regrets. Realizing his mistake, he does not make the same decision again when he is later asked to switch patients again, sparing a young boy, Johan's life. A decision seemingly morally good leads the doctor to a whole lot of trouble. Now, nine years later, the doctor has realized the young man has grown into a dangerous criminal. The anime then follows the doctor as he tries to stop the havoc spread by the now criminal, which he thinks is due to his account. Monster is an absolute classic when it comes to its plotline, characters, and the whole mood of the anime. The plot of the monster is layered well 
well, and it is very satisfying when eventually the pieces fall into place and the story comes together. You might even have to watch the anime a second time just to get a better sense of everything. Monster will appeal to anime fans who are yearning for similar intriguing plot lines like Berserk. Monster more than makes up for its lack of violence and depravity with its psychological account of a demented man who was raised to be the next evil incarnate and the doctor who, unfortunately, spared his life. Basilisk, star-crosses lover, but in a ninja setting and with a lot of blood and gore, is a minor premise of Basilisk. Basilisk is a fast-paced anime. The plot follows the intense animosity between two ninja clans. The rivalry between the two has been going on for quite some time now, over the last four centuries, in fact. However, the conflict is brought to a halt after new peaceful agreements have arisen. Genusuke, the grandson of the Kuga clan chief, and Oboro, the granddaughter of the Iga clan leader, have unfortunately fallen in love during during this temporary period of peace. The anime caters between romance, action, and killings. Lots and lots of killings. Violence and tragedy are what Berserk and Basilisk both have in common. Although there is a lack of character development in some of the characters in Basilisk, the various powers all the clan members possess and the absurd amount of tragedy they face will inevitably make you sympathize with them. Like this, Basilisk does an excellent job of showcasing how characters are morally gray rather than black or white. Jin Ro, the Wolf Brigade. Wolf in sheep's clothing is the basic concept behind the plotline in Jin Ro, the Wolf Brigade. The anime occurs in an alternate reality where the Japanese lost the war to Nazi Germany in World War II. Violent street battles are ignited by anti-government groups called sect. The anime follows one such riot and we see the police responding to these violent outbreaks. The scene focuses on a terrorist girl who is navigating the sewers to deliver a dangerous satchel. This is where she is confronted by one cop. Constable Fuse is the policeman who catches up with the girl, surprising the girl. Fuse hesitates before pulling the trigger. As a result, the girl blows herself up. Due to this hesitation, more chaos follows as the riots above take advantage of the blackout that follows the blow-up. After this particular incident, Fuse is sent back to the academy to undergo more training for his mistake in hesitation. Unable to shake the images of the girl dying right before his eyes, Constable Fuse sets out to visit the girl's grave, where he encounters the dead girl's sister, who has an uncanny any resemblance to her. The anime then follows the two of them, their relationship, and the uncovering of dark conspiracies in the police system. What Berserk and Jin Ro, the Wolf Brigade, both have in common are the surprisingly strong but broken protagonist. Both protagonists, Gus and Constable Fuse, have been through hell because of war, witnessing events that would greatly scar them. Although the Wolf Brigade has a considerably low amount of action when compared to Berserk, the anime will surely cater to fans of Berserk. The anime also does a pretty good job of portraying more mature undertones throughout the animation. Bastard. It is a dark fantasy series where the kingdom of Metallicana is in danger from a group of four lords of havoc who want to resurrect an ancient god, Anthrasax, hundreds of years after the god had wiped out modern civilization. A previous ally of the four who had been imprisoned for 15 years gets released to stop this from happening. A sorcerer, Dark Schneider, ironically battles to preserve the planet after attempting to take it over in the past. Both Berserk and Bastard are set in the same time period and contain a lot of gory and gritty themes. The only difference is that in Berserk, most of the violence is inflicted with the sword, whereas in Bastard, it is done with magic. Although that's where the similarities end, while Berserk carries an entirely severe tone throughout, Bastard has a bit of humor tossed in as well. Gungrave. Gang wars, friendship, and death are a few of the sentiments Gungrave follows. Gungrave is an anime series following two young boys, Brandon and Harry, with a bond so close it is almost familial. The series follows the two as they join a crime syndicate after the murder of their close friends by a rival gang, Millennium, with Big Daddy as their leader. While Brandon wants to assist his friend and please Big Daddy, who has taken custody of the woman Brandon loves, Harry has plans to rise through the ranks and one day overtake Big Daddy as the supreme leader of Millennium. 
as the series continues, we see how the close friends progress higher into the levels of the Mafia. We see how the relationship between them was made unbreakable. We also learn how it was shattered by the organization that strengthened that bond, from their low-life street gang beginnings to their ascent to power within the organization. The anime perfectly shows how power influences and changes people, and no one is spared from the change, not even family. While Berserk and Gungrave are vastly different in terms of storyline, the mode of storytelling is faintly similar, with characters having an analogous air of demeanor. We see in both animes the maturing of protagonists, for better or worse, as well as how friendship evolves on a similar premise. Also, Gungrave is a story that has a satisfying conclusion, as opposed to the cliffhanger Berserk left with us. Conclusion. If you prefer to avoid gore, violence, and a great deal of blood, this is definitely not the list for you. The lists of animes compiled here are not for the faint of heart, so be warned. And if you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone!